welcome to uh, a little bit of a channel introduction. Um, this is my spare bedroom, my little uh, my maker's workshop. Um, I'm just like Tony Stark, you know. Hey, um, a little, a little, a little, a little more sad, but you know, it's it's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, for yeah, I thought for a while now I've wanted to to do the whole YouTube thing. Um, and I'm at a you know, when you get to a crossroads in life, you kind of go, well, do I go that way? Do I go that way? You know what? I'm going to put some effort into to this because I love technology and um, I want to explore that and showcase that and bring people along for the ride to, to kind of see what I get up to in my spare room. And um, one of the things I, I certainly enjoy the most is uh, 3D printing and uh, drones and anything to do with Arduino and microelectronics. I'm not an engineer, uh, far from it. Uh, most of the projects I do with Arduino, uh, at least in trying to teach myself the sort of uh, Arduino IDE and you know, get into Python and things like that, uh, is, is, it's the children's tutorials. Um, but but I, uh, I'm getting there. Uh, for 3D printing, I've been, been 3D printing for a while now. Um, you know, and as you can see over here, I've got a K1 Max. Uh, now people are going to be saying, <laughs> why didn't you get a bamboo lap? Um, and my response to that is, good question. <laughs> good one. Um, I don't have a good answer for that, uh, apart from the fact that I'm a very impatient man. But I want it now! I, uh, I went onto Amazon, I wanted a new printer, and it was on special. And I thought, I know Creality. I've been using Creality machines for a while. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't get don't get me started on the end of threes. Uh, in fact, most people who start out in 3D printing at some point in in time had a had an end of three. Um, yeah, it's one of those machines that yeah, it's great. You know, when when that thing came out, man, I was like, it's it's the future. <laughs> We're there. I'm printing everything. Um, you know, the toilet's broken. I'm printing it. Uh, I had a little thing broken in the, the swimming pool pump. I'm printing it. Um, anything and everything you could think of, I was printing. Um, were most of those projects successful? No. No. Some, some were like, whoa. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I meant, yeah, I, I meant to do that. Others, not so much. Um, but it's a process, you know. Um, the 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 Ender three was uh, I upgraded it from the eight bit board to a thirty two bit big tree tech board. Did the standard stuff, putting a a BL touch onto it, and you know just kind of making it into a, an interesting machine. Playing around with firmware, getting getting Marlin onto it, and you know tinkering with things. And uh, I ran into some challenges. Um, you know, don't push the driver currents too far. Um, on that extruder, especially if you upgrade it to the uh, the sort of uh, aluminium extruder, because the original snapped, um, <laughs> and then your filament just kind of melts before it even gets to your middle plate. So that was fun, you know, wondering why, what what happened, what, what? Um, but it was a labour of love, yeah. And most people who got into the hobby got into the hobby because you know it was it was fun and it was yeah you know, there was a good community around it. Um, and but I got to a point now where I've gone, yeah, I want something that just prints. Um and again, back to the original question, why didn't I get a bamboo lapse? Because again, patient. Um you know, and I like the marketing for this thing because it seemed I was like AI LIDAR? What? Give it to me. Um camera, AI detection, whoa, give it to me. Three hundred by three hundred by three hundred? What? Give it to me. Um has it been smooth sailing? No. Now this is this is the bone to pick with Creality because the reality of their tutorials is such that they are lies. The fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You know they say, oh hey, hey man, it's got a got a got a hot swappable nozzle on it. Hmm, hot swappable. <laughs> and you're like, damn what? What just? Like the bamboo ones, where you can just open up the clip and <laughs> rip, and they're like, yeah, man. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, in, in fairness, they never said that. But, you know, but don't say it's hot swappable. Because, 
you know, you, you, you've got to, you know, get into this thing and this this door. Another thing, um, you know, ooh, you know, the way I've got this this printer position right now, a bit precarious. This this scares me a little bit. I need to print some brackets to uh, to at least try and uh, avoid this from smashing. But you know, one of the things is this tool head is is not easy to work in. Woman, you're way too close! Um, sorry you got a little too close to my face there, but, you know, this is an intimate channel. Um, but yeah, you take that off, and you're like, okay, cool, let's watch the, let's watch the video. Um, okay. Okay, I've got to unscrew this. Oh, yeah, okay, unscrew that. Unplug the liner, I'll get that out, get the... You know, the little plastic cover off. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Unscrew this, unscrew that. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, by the way, the only way to access that is if you unclip from the back with the little board that's in the tool head. You know, unclip from the back where we've hot glued the shit out of everything. Yeah? Hot glued it so, you know, where you're fiddling and you're like, oh, man, I can, uh, this is going to break. And you're like, no, come on. Gentle, gentle, like precision surgery. Gentle. I'm not gentle. Look at me. Look at my hands, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I was, I even had my little, uh, I fixed a toolkit with my little tweezers going, picking at it. But I broke it. I broke it. And I was like, oh my God. So, okay, good. Just go to AliExpress. Let's, let's try and get another one. Let's get another board because even though it was fine, you know, I, I can't put that back in the machine knowing that there's, you know, a, a connector in there that, it's not as secure as it should be, you know, so, got that. Then the extruder, man, like, I printed some TPU and, you know, immediately switched over to some, uh, some of the Airy One uh, matte PLA, and that got stuck in there, you know, and it just wound itself into the extruder, and I thought, oh, okay, this is not good, so, you know, I got, got my little uh, needles to try and clear a clog, didn't work, didn't work, okay, guess what? <laughs> Back to disassembly, man, and this time, this time we're disassembling. So, you know, bloody hell, get, get, disassemble this thing. I need to realize the problem's actually in the extruder, so I've got to take the extruder apart. And it, 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 it wrapped its, it smoothed itself around the gears, around the extruder gears, you know, and it was just, it was slippery, man. It was, ah, oh, it was just, it was smooth like butter. Smooth like butter, like a creamy hell on the cover, gun pop like cover. Looking into your head like that. Yeah, but it's not pretty good for an extruder. So I fixed that problem onto the next problem. Next problem, bed level. You know, what they don't say is that, you know, you you got to get the luck of the draw, man, because honestly, this, this bill plate was like this. We ain't that straight. You know, and I tried to, I, I made my own little... Um, you know, sort of a one millimeter high sort of test print to 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 see you know where there were high spots, low spots, if it could compensate, and it did an okay job, you know, to be fair, but it, it wasn't great. So you know, I went through their tutorial on how to uh, to 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 solve some of those issues. Open up the bottom, you know, okay, right, release this, you know, but you need to be man to get that that the the, the belt off at the bottom there to clip it on and hope to god you don't snap anything is it's insanity man it's insane so the easiest solution was just getting some shims model up in, in solid work get some shims pop them on there fine you know that now now we're like 0 0.3 0 0.4 uh, across the build plate which is you know what i'm okay with that um and suddenly we can print you know we can print really awful toolboxes transparent petri um that kind of works with all my uh my little essentials right here um quite quite enjoy this to uh things a little bit more bespoke and custom uh which equally work quite well you know there, there's my little my makers set my all my excitement you know that worked really well um and it's a good little printer, you know, when you when you think about it. You know, some printers out there are pretty bad, and some people have certainly had some issues. Um, 
with their K1. Um, I, th- I think the quality is exceptional. Um, but I'm also coming at this from the perspective of someone who's come from a crappy Ender 3 that they kind of built themselves and then sort of uh, zip-tied um, you know, fans and things on to, to make it better. Um, not, I wasn't dealing with the uh, the cream of the crop. So, but this, this, I've, I've, I've had a good time with it. I think, you know, if, if you're interested in, a, in, a, in tinkering with things, maybe not the best machine. Um, I think certainly to get the most out of it, you need to, you need to spend some time tinkering. I'm still gonna, you know, root the firmware on this, change a couple of things. I'd like to get a, a sort of nozzle cleaner um, set up. Um, that's one of the issues I've, I've, I've seen to encounter quite a lot. Is just yeah, you know, it, 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 things stick to the nozzle a little bit too much. May, you know, maybe that's just me. I need to clean the nozzle a bit better every single time I, I, I print and maybe get some of that. Um, God, I forget what it's called now, but uh, that uh, plastic repellent, you know, to get into the, to the nozzle. I don't know why I did that, but, you know. Weird, man. That's, there we go. Um, but it's a good machine. Uh, it does what it does what it says on the tin. And it does it quite well. Um, I'd like to to start exploring different 3D printers, but unfortunately, the budget just isn't there. Um, So what we're going to do is explore this, explore what we can make with this, explore some of the exciting tech products we can. And uh, I do have a couple of drones, and we're going to dive into that a little bit more because, you know, printing landscapes, now that's uh, that's fun. Send the drone up, do some some, some photogrammetry, um, and, uh, and, and, yeah, and print some landscape. I've done it before. Um, I thought it was really interesting, really cool. Um, yeah, I used to, when, when I worked as a, as a surveyor, um, yeah, we, we, we did it with landscape. Same as in, in archaeology. Uh, I, was, I was an archaeologist before. I was a surveyor. Um, there's no money in archaeology, man. Um, love it. I, uh, I'm a professional archaeologist, went to uni for, for archaeology, and, uh, you know, it's, Commercial archaeology. Well, maybe I'll I'll go into a rant about commercial archaeology at some point. But yeah, you know, some of the cool things he did was was printing archaeological sites. You know, you can you can actually see, especially if you've got, you know, when you strip a site, you're stripping down topsoil, subsoil. You're onto the sort of natural geology. Uh, you've got a series of enclosure, well, ditches that you can see they're intersecting. Um, you know, you know, in, in one case, you know, we're doing a sort of uh, high status Roman farmstead, uh, potentially a villa just off in the corner. We didn't get not get to see it, but uh, we certainly had the enclosures associated with that that villa, um, and that was really cool because it was a complex site, lots of inter- interconnecting ditches, um, um, you yeah, know, complex stratigraphy, lots of artifacts came out of it, a lot of fine ware potteries, um, really fun. Really, really fun, and and one of the things we did was, um, yeah, pr- print out the site. Uh, yeah, there's there's something to be said about sticking your finger in a, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, sticking your finger in a, <laughs> in a in a in a hole. Oh, um, my God, that's disgusting. Hi. An archaeological hole. That's there we go. Uh, this is a family channel. Um, but yeah, you know, there's, uh, the, that's a cool thing, and I, th- I think there's, that's certainly not being explored that much on, on, on YouTube, at least if you go down the the academic route and start reading articles about people who've, who've delved into that, there's easier ways to, to, to get it to work, you know, even with relatively, and I mean cheap DJI drones, you know, uh, Mini 2 SE, you know, I did a lot of a lot of work in archaeology with that little drone, um, the mini, min, the original Mavic Mini, the, Ma, the Mini Two, and the Mini uh, Two SE. You know th- those drones, you know, were pretty awesome. You know, especially when you're, you're dealing with as, as many regulations as, as you've got in the the UK with the CAA. I've also got an Air Two S, um, which is really great for for mapping missions. Um, in work, you know, if you used to fly sort of the the Matrice, the 350, as well as the uh, the Mavic 3 Enterprise, um, the, now those, <laughs> you know, get get the the Pilot 2 app and get your mission planned and off you go. Um, fantastic drones, but you know, this this is let's take it uh, take it a step back and 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 kind of focus on things that that normal people can do at home, um, and I think that's more exciting. That's more fun. Um, I know I've waffled. Um, and you know, I haven't really 
shown the 3D printer off too much, but yeah, overarchingly, it's 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 going to be a tool to do some exciting things, um, and I'm excited to 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 see what this journey takes us. I think it will be fun. I think it's going to be weird. It's going to be full of mishaps and broken things and things that don't work. And but you know what? Let's have a laugh. Yeah. Why take life so seriously? Um, ain't no point. Um, ain't just ain't no point. I think this is. Hey, this is going to be fun. So you know, if you're interested and and want to see, hey, maybe a more comprehensive review on on the K1, uh, get some glamour shots, um, things that yeah will will uh, hopefully make the channel a bit more exciting to to view. Because quite frankly, I don't know anything about video editing. I don't know anything about filming. I've got a light set up behind over there um, and a tripod that I 3D printed um, on my phone with a microphone. You know, this is uh, this is the level I'm dealing with right now. Will it get better? Absolutely. I'm going to focus on that. Uh, but for now, this is where we're at. And I hope to take you along for the ride. So uh, let's do this.